this is the week I go live for my first show on Jambo. I put all the information below the video. Make sure you check it out. For today's vlog, it's going to be very simple. I have a few unboxing to do. If you notice the audio is off, it's because my, mo my microphone is broken. But I did order a new one, so tomorrow you'll have better audio than what you have today. Um, I'm going to show you guys my setup for the show. And I am just going to talk about some sales that I made yesterday. And just to mention, I had a chance to meet uh, New England Betty Boo. If you're watching this video, it was wonderful to meet you. I do have a other video coming up. It's a Posh Live. You'll probably see that video within three weeks because you guys know I keep my videos on schedule. So every two weeks, I do a vlog in my life as a reseller. That way you guys get a glimpse what I do. And then the other video is usually a video of something going on and we sell our community. It's sort of like a teaching video. And then I do, so I might do, because I did talk about my weight loss journey, which starts in October. So you guys are going to get weight, uh, Thrifty Pia loses weight. You'll get an update every month. So then I'll, that'll be like a whole vlog. It won't be too long. It'll be a short vlog within 10 minutes. What I did for that week, what I ate. It mostly will be like kind of like a slideshow. It won't be me talking. It'll just be me either eating or seeing pictures or workouts, stuff like that, just so I could see it for myself. Hopefully, I could inspire other people who are my size. Um, but yeah, I want to talk about really quick about my first show setup. For my shows, it's my first time. I like to prepare. Um, I've also noticed, I've done, done a lot of practice for Jambo. And there are a few things I could not remember, so I have to type this up. I've also done a little help me um, note, so that will be like a top of like on the side of my desk. So if I get stuck on something, I could just read it really quick. And what I got stuck on was how to run an option, and then the other one was for Parsh Live was um, I guess it was how to do measurements and stuff like that. And then also one thing on my phone, I couldn't find it. When you're doing these live shows, you want to make sure you leave your phone on all the time. So you know how you have an Apple phone or Android after 30 seconds, the phone just blacks out. So there was a way you could go into your phone. So I did put that down because I couldn't remember. In my section, I have an Apple phone 13. It's display and brightness, auto lock for never. So it's never going to go out. Um, yeah, so just to talk about um, Jambo real quick. Um, all my information is below. Unfortunately, Jambo is a new, new app. They do not, um, you, if you have Android, you won't be able to download it, but I guess they're working on that. But for what not in Parshmark, it's Android or, um, Apple. But that being said, guys, we're, um, we're going to talk about some sales that I made. I made a really good sale on a Christmas t-shirt. This is a vintage new york t-shirt i really wish i had a little bit more we'll talk about this later um, okay so here's the christmas sweater i end up washing it i got this from a big lot um over a year ago and the lot didn't smell that great it smelled like cigarettes and had all sorts of smell but this one i wash it with oxyclean it smells so good guys this sweater it got sold for 29 dollars plus $9 shipping. The buyer didn't even ask me to um, to take out of the sweater, you know, to lower the price. So there is a little bit of pillin. Um, I'm going to leave that like that. I am not going to take this off. I'm just afraid that if I shave it, I might take more out of the sweater. I did say it was a vintage sweater. They are aware that it is an old sweater, so it's not going to be in the perfect condition. But this is the brand. If you if you're going out thrifty shopping, you want to pick up this brand, Halloum. Let me see here, collectible. These are vintage. So if you see this brand, chances are you're not going to see it because they're very popular for Christmas sweaters. But these are going to get you at least thirty to fifty dollars. You could even get up to hundred dollars on these Christmas sweater. And now people are buying them because you know. People stop buying stuff around the fall. Okay. So we're going to talk really quick about my background here. I want to show you guys. I did invest a lot of money into 
this live show. But this is what I, I want to mention really quick. I'm going to put some more light in here because it is a little dark in this room. Give me one second, guys. All right. So what you're looking at right now, it's called a T-Bone. And I will put it up here so you guys can see it. It's called a T-Bone Backdrop. So you know when you go to photo studios, you take professional pictures, they always have a nice background. Well, I wanted to do something similar to that. I wanted to have a nice background. But this background is going to be temporary because I am going to get some permanent um, curtains that I'm going to put up. Because I had a really hard time with this one. I had to use the clips and wrap it in the back. You guys could see. And this is what the back looks like. This, I got the cheapest one I could possibly get. I think this was either $39 or $40. I will put it um, in the screen if you guys are doing live shows and you want to invest into it. This rack was purchased by my husband about two years ago. These are all the clothes. I'm not going to go into it because, you know, I want to make sure you guys go to the show to see these outfits. Um, but I do have a lot of nice stuff. And I'm doing a big giveaway. So um, hopefully you guys can attend the show. It's going to be on Wednesday, September 20. Um, so it's 928 at 8 p.m. Okay. So now I'm going to turn around and you guys are going to get a little glimpse of what it's going to look like when you watch me live. No setup yet. But basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to be more in the center. So you're not going to basically, let's see, the edges over here because... It's going to be more in the center. Um, I have to like figure it out. So more in the center. Just it's focusing right on me. Um, I do have a tripod that's going to be on the table. I have a ring light. So you're not going to see the blue walls on the side. All you're going to see is just the background drop. But here's here's the story. I'm also going to invest in other books. Like a kind of like a outlet closet i will put it over here and it's kind of like a display that you would get at a store so a place i could put some purses um a place i could put some shoes some hats so things like that now i don't know if i mentioned this to you guys earlier i did go to parsh live in boston where i met up with a reseller i've been talking to her for over a year if you're watching this, Betty Boo, it was nice to meet you. Um, and it's great to go to these events because you get to network. I met a lot of people. And what this does is that these people get to follow your social media. I had a few people follow me on Poshmark. I had one person follow me on YouTube. Um, I actually got to watch my video and even comment it. It's really good. My channel, like I said, it's growing, but it's not growing like really fast, but it's growing at the pace that I, the effort that I'm putting in, right? I like going to these, I, and I was someone who I just sat behind a computer years ago, and I was always afraid to reach out to other people. I don't know why, but for some reason, I was just not there yet. But just take your time, you know? Um, when you're ready to meet and meet other people who do the same thing you do, you're going to notice you have a different sort of of a mindset, right? Because you get to reach with other people. Now, I met this wonderful lady at the Parsh Live. And I, I showed, showed her my background. And then I told her that I was going to put some balloons. She told me that um, adding a lot of balloons is going to be sort of a distraction. Because you want your customers to focus on the items that you're selling, not so much the display, even though the display is nice, but you don't want it to be too much. That's you want to talk is. about networking with other people. Now, if I didn't go to the show, I was going to go all out. I was going to get like a size, some balloons. That would have been too much. So what I'm doing for the show, um, I'm not, I do have balloons, but I'm not going to put them out. I think the balloons, I might put them when I do different type of shows. So when I'm doing jewelry and I just want to just throw a simple background, you'll see the balloons there. Um, but I am going to take her advice. I'm just going to leave it plain. And another thing too, is I'm going to invest into a small sign and I'll put it here. I don't mind sharing um, my business strategies with my YouTuber followers, because like I said, 
I'm very transparent. I want this to be sort of a platform we could all network and learn from each other. So if you are someone who is thinking about becoming a live seller, make sure you take down my tips. Make sure you do what I'm doing because that's going to help you get comfortable and, you know, and you'll be more prepared um, because I'm copying from other people that I've watched. The background drop, the reseller uh, rack, these are all things I got from other sellers, not things I came up with myself, right? So I want to invest a little sign that says, my happy place. Come January 2024, I do this every single year. I start off really strong by keeping track of my sales. I don't know where my numbers are. I'm not ashamed to say that. I just haven't kept track. I kind of gave up midway June um, because I've invested so much money into Excel spreadsheets um, that at this point, I think where I'm going business-wise, because I do plan on getting a reseller's permit. I do plan on getting um, an LLC because that's a different um, business I want to do, but I'm not going to talk about it now. But um, so because I'm going to invest into that, I'm waiting to get a professional sign. And I am going to change my Instagram, my Poshmark, my eBay store, my YouTube channel. They're all going to have the same name. And they're all going to have, even my TikTok, they're all going to have the same logo. I think that way it'll be easier for people to follow me and know who I am because now I have several different names. Um, Poshmark, it's Second Chance Thrift Store Pia. eBay, it's Tia's Closet. YouTube is Thrifty Pia. Instagram is Thrifty Pia. It's a little confusing for um, someone who subscribed to a channel to try to keep up with all these names because we as consumers and who we get influenced by influencers, our attention span is this small, right? Anytime you give us five or six or seven different titles, we lose interest. We don't even bother going for it because it's too much. We can't remember. Um, so I'm trying to build more of a professional brand. And um, 2024, if God willing, it's going to be a good year. Um, it's going to be a year that I'm going to take the extra step to get to where I need. I'm going to invest into, um, I think it's called Intuit. So I'm going to invest into that um, bookkeeping. I'm going to pay money for it. Um, I think that would be better for me because everything would be in the system. And, all, and if I make a sale, it automatically goes to it. I don't have to put it in because the whole thing is I want my business to run itself. I don't want to do the hard labor work of listing here. That's why I'm also going to invest into um, Vendu and do multiple listing. I put one list in and I could put it on several platforms. I don't have to go one here, one there, one there. Too much work. I want more time to focus on making YouTube content. I want more time to focus on my health. And also, you know, I'm a wife, I'm a mom. So I have chores, I have a child, I have things to do. Um, I don't want to spend the rest of my life just, you know, listing and, and, going out thrifting and um, just doing videos. I want to enjoy things, you know what I mean? I'm pretty sure some of you guys are the same way too. So that's pretty much what we have going on for today. Um, right now, I'm gonna do an unboxing for you guys, and then we are going to um, ship and pack the two items I sold um, within the last two days, and then that will be it for today. And tomorrow, I will see you guys. I'm hoping I'm going to church tomorrow. Um, I haven't been to church in a long time, which is not good. Um, it's like I don't feel great not going. I love going in because it's like a start of the new week. It's such I have a lot going on this week. So I need to have like a clear mindset. All right, guys. So let's do the um, unboxing. I ordered so much stuff. I don't even know what I ordered. Just like the other video, right? Okay. So some of the things I got here are things I need for my store and things I need to run my live reseller, okay? So for the month of October, I'm giving myself a goal, guys, and you guys are welcome to join. I want to list 10 items a day. 
I know it's a lot of work, but like I said, I have a lot of inventory. I'm trying to get rid of stuff. So, first thing I ordered, it's kind of like beauty stuff. Um, I ordered some professional uh, stainless steel tweezers. I don't know how many tweezers I've gone through. I've ordered them, and then I'm always losing them. I don't know what this one... Oh, okay. I know what this one is. This is a set of headbands that I ordered. Um, I am getting myself a new um, fresh weed next Saturday. So I have put on some Fox Locks for about a couple of months. My hair has outgrown. So it's time to take these locks out, get my hair washed, and um, get a new fresh set. So I order these headbands anytime that, um, and this is a brown, this one's green, this one's black. I like buying these because what I do is when my hair, as you guys can see, it's being outgrown. So I would put this on and do a high ponytail and um, that way I cover my gray. So you'll see on Thursday. I'm probably going to end up, because it is a Barbie show, so I'm probably going to end up wearing black, which is okay. Um, but I'll have a pink top on, and wait till you see my pants. Third, I got some wild pants that I'm wearing on Thursday. We're going to have fun. We're so much fun. Hope you guys come along, you know. Let me know if you're there and you're from my YouTube channel. Please let me know. Um... Alright, so, a second part. Okay, so, these, I can show you guys what this one is. This one is some business cards that I got, and the front just says, I'll open it so you guys can see. That's what I was supposed to do. I, I remember how to do something this weekend. I couldn't remember what it was, but now I remember so hopefully I make some sales on Thursday, right? So this one just says, thank you for supporting my small business. And I'm going to give you guys a little hint. If you're trying to grow your um, social media, like if you're trying to grow your YouTube channel, and you're trying to grow your Instagram account, your TikTok account. Now, I will do a video on this. And this will probably be a video I'll probably do. Maybe next week I'll do this video. I'm going to show you guys how to do... Uh, a QR code on Canva and how you could take your Instagram, your TikTok, your um, YouTube channel, how you could take your Instagram, your TikTok, your YouTube channel, have it all in one QR code. Once you get that QR code, you're going to put a little, um, you could put a little something below the card, like follow me or things like that. So people could get a, you know, have attention to know they have to follow you. You're going to stick that in the back of the card. So when your customer, hopefully your customer turns back of the card and sees the QR code. And hopefully they will. So what you'll do is you'll, you'll have the thank you card. And then um, the back of the card will be the QR code. So what I would suggest is put this like this in front so they could see the QR code. And then when they turn it, they'll say thank you card. I'm afraid if you just put the thank you card, people are just gonna toss it. They're not really going to look. But if you put this in the front and you say, follow me or stalk me or, you know, or a, a, a funny phrase in the bottom to catch their attention, they're going to scan that. They're gonna know because we as human beings, we're curious, right? We like to, to know things, especially things that are like very bizarre like that. It just stands out like that. So that is a cute, that is um, a tip I'm giving you guys. Hopefully your customer will follow you and then they get to see a YouTube channel, your TikTok. Now, I don't hide that I buy things from thrift stores and resell them because I'm basically, I'm like a professional um, 
I consider myself as a professional seller. So what I'm doing is I'm buying things that people can't really find and I'm reselling them at a fraction of the price. So your customers are going to know that, that you're buying things secondhand and they could follow you, you know, and then maybe if they buy items from your store, they could put a shout out for you like, oh, I bought this from 50 PS store or she's this or she's that, you know. So I think that would be uh, a great way for you to try to grow your channel because we all know um, growing your channel on YouTube, Instagram, Instagram, YouTube is very hard to grow your channel. That's something with the algorithm, right? Um, you can put tags galore um, and sometimes you still won't get the views that you're looking for. It's my next big box. <laughs> now, I know some people do Amazon, what do you call it? Um, where they show things on their channel and then they get credit for it. I don't do that. I've tried it before, it's never worked for me. Um, I think I think maybe when I have a maybe when I have like a thousand subscribers, I might be able to do it. I might get more people, but for now, no. I'm just gonna show you guys something, and if you want it, you'll see it in the video. Type it in and you can get it. Next thing I ordered, OxyClean White. Now, I could've got this at Target or my grocery store, but honestly, I can't find this one at Target or at my grocery store. Either every time I go, they're sold out, or maybe they just don't have them. But I bought this strictly for my reseller business. And I want to make sure I got one that was safe on colors, um, a stain remover, and it just basically cleans my it cleans your clothes. So um, yeah, so I think I paid. Actually, I think I paid. I think I paid less than ten dollars for that. So not not too expensive. Now, I'm not going to open this now because I would have to set this up. I plan on doing that on Wednesday night. This one is a small ring light. I do have a big one that I use all the time. But I bought a smaller one um, specifically for the show because I know it's the one I have. It falls apart. It's not as bright, bright. When I went to the Parsh Live, they had a ring light that was extremely bright. And um, it was a small one too. It was a big one. I can't tell it was a small one, it was big. Right. But let me just invest into a other smaller ring light um, to have better content. And that's what I did. Another box. Guys, I don't even know how much money I spent on this business. I can't even tell you. And my husband has been so upset. I have to put the packages under his name. He's like, I didn't order this. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, you did. But no, I didn't. So, I mean, I'm just, I'm trying to get home before, uh, well, I'm already home. But um, I'm trying to get to the packages before the UPS guy rings the doorbell. Gets me in trouble, you know? We talked about the balloons. I, I think I might do one, because I did invest into it. Um, I bought myself... A uh, cement is very cheap too. Electronic air balloon pump. So um, I might put them at the end. So I did invest into that for the show. I bought two Febreze uh, refreshers. This one is an odor blocker. So you know how when you have clothes in the thrift store, you um before you you know they just have this really bad smell to them. So sometimes it depends. Some stuff you could wash, some stuff you can only steam. So stuff that I could steam, I will steam it and put this on it. And it usually gets rid of the odor. Hey guys, we have a new microphone. So I'm gonna be using this soon. And then the last item, I'll put it here. I'm not gonna open it now. Like I said, I have to set that up. It is a brand new steamer, it's a big one. So that's pretty much the video I have for you for Saturday. Um, I don't have anything else going on. Oh, yeah, I did talk about the two items I sold. So this one I sold on Poshmark. 
I had it for seven dollars. I made four bucks on it um, on Poshmark. Okay, so it had no tag. I bought it at Savers for two dollars. I didn't really make that much, um, but it was a 1990s vintage um, NYU. And the reason why I know that because it was double stitch. Anything double stitch is vintage. Um, so I bought it. I was hoping to get like $20 for it, but I did not. But I noticed a lot of the NYU um, vintage t-shirts were not selling that much. So, but either way, I did put in my description, there's no size that the measurements were estimated. So I'm not a seamless, so I don't really know how to do. I did do the pit to pit, but hopefully I did it correctly, you know. So I put that in my description and I sold that. And then, this is what I'm very happy about. I sold this beautiful sweater. Oh, I smell. I wish you guys could smell. It smells so good. So I sold this one for $29 plus $9 shipping. Not too bad for um two for two sales after two days. I took a break of reselling stuff um for over a month. I just got tired of doing it. I got tired of and I did a lot too. I've listed, I think, in between the spring and the summer, I think I listed over 200 items. For some people, that's not that much, but for me it is, because I'm a part-time seller. I mean, when I say part-time, I mean like part, part, part-time. Um, I don't know, I just got tired of taking pictures, listing items, I just, and I got exhausted and doing it, which I took a month off. So month of October, I am going to be listing 10 items per day. I have a lot of a lot of um, inventory to to list and stuff like that. So that's pretty much it, guys. I will see you guys tomorrow. Um, I do plan on going to church, and I do plan on making a Target run tomorrow. So I'll take you guys along with me. And then you guys know I like to end the video on a Monday. See you guys soon. Bye-bye.